Hello, hello, hammock lovers. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Kayla, and today I want to share with you my best and worst grab and go luxury bags in my collection. So let's get started. Okay, so this video idea was inspired by the beautiful Maggie Shu. I really, really love and enjoy watching her videos. I'm going to link in the description down below her channel and also her video. So I was like, yes, this is an amazing video idea. So I'm here making my own. And what is a grab and go bag? So for me, it's that bag that is really easy to wear, that bag that I want to wear every day, you know, that I don't have to think about if I want to wear that bag, if I have whatever outfit and I can wear it that bag. So I'm going to start with the best. We are going to start positive <laughs> in this video. So one of my best grab and go bags in my collection is this baby right here. And yes, she is tiny, but for me, wow, I really, really love wearing this handbag. For me, this is my everyday handbag lately. And yeah, this is the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. For some reason, this is a kind of like carefree bag because it comes with the treated Bikita leather. I don't know honestly if this Bikita will stain if it's, uh, you know, gets water or things like that. I don't know, but I guess because it's treated, it won. I don't know, but it's really carefree. I honestly love and adore my Speedy in the size 20. But that one comes with the uh, Bequera that is not treated, so sometimes I'm scared on wearing that one. And that's why I want to get the Speedy 20 in the Damien event, because I think it's going to be, you know, carefree. But the Speedy 20 I like more for, like, travel. But this one, wow, I love to wear this one, you know, to go to Target, to go to the supermarket, to go to brunch to go to lunch, things like that. I really, really like it. Like I said, it's a small handbag, but for me, it fits my essentials really, really nice. I mean, it looks small, but you, you'll be surprised of how much this baby fits. It doesn't fit my phone, but for every day for me, I always am wearing like leggings with pockets or mostly shorts. So all my shorts, you know, when it's summer, I live in Florida, I'm going to move soon. But when I, you know, go and run errands, I'm always wearing shorts and I always have pockets. So I don't mind that this one doesn't fit my phone. Sometimes it can fit my phone if I don't bring like all my essentials, if I just, you know, grab this bag and go out of the door really quick. But yes, I really love it for me. She is really practical. I bought this one pretty low. It didn't come with the strap, but uh, I didn't care because I have, you know, plenty of straps. And I wear this one with the Bequeda strap that I got a while ago. And that strap, it, it has like kind of like this age Bequeda. So it looks amazing with this handbag. And sometimes I wear this one with the strap that it comes in my pochette metis is west. So yes, this is an amazing and a practical handbag for me. I really, really like it. Okay, now I'm going for my first worst grab and go bag in my collection. And it doesn't mean that I don't love the bag, okay? Because this one I'm, I'm, that I'm going to show you is one of my favorite handbags in my collection. But, okay, is this one right here. It's another Louis Vuitton. And I have this one in the dust bag. And it's the Louis Vuitton Curly Set in the Damien Azur. Okay, first, this is a really practical handbag. She fits a lot, has a top handle, you know, comes with the strap. The strap is not adjustable, but you can wear other straps with these bags. But for me, uh, this one I have um, to think about when I want to wear this one because it comes with this Bequera. And for me, I really, really love Damien Azur print, but I don't like uh, the Damien Azur with, with the Bequera when it gets like darker that's why i have this handbag in the dust bag because i want to maintain like this uh color of the bequera a little bit longer so that's why i have always to look for the weather when i want to wear this handbag and also i have to think like i have to say okay i want to wear the damiasur tomorrow for example so i have to check the weather if it's not rainy so i'm going to wear it and so far i bought this handbag at the beginning of the year in january so we we are now in september so so far it doesn't have any uh watermark and i haven't thrown this bag with the apple guard and i 
I treat all my bags, all the Becquera, you know, on my bags with the Apple Guard. I don't know why I haven't done that with this one, but I have to do it soon. So right now it's kind of like in pristine condition and I really, really love about this bag um, that it comes with this beautiful rose gold lady interior. I have this uh, organizer right here because of the color, of course. And also because the interior is really light, uh, this is a bag that I really baby. I don't baby that much my bags, but this one's this one I do because I want, like I said, to be like pristine because I really, really love it. And I, I don't know, I love the Mia Azure and I also own this one in the Damien event. I sold it because I wasn't reaching for the Damien event print that much on the Croy set. And it's a bag that is really practical, like I said. So in the Damien event was amazing, but for me, for some reason, I wasn't reaching that much for that print. Um, now I'm a, I'm a BB in the Damien event and I use it more. So I don't know. I don't regret selling the Croy set because I got this one and I love this one more. Like I said, the words doesn't mean that I don't love the bag. It means that I really, really, it's not a grab and go bag for me. I have to think when I want to wear this one. Next best grab and go bag for me is this uh, YSL look camera bag. I have mine in this beautiful vintage blank color and I have this one in the new version with the back pocket and I have also the beige in the old version. I got the beige in July last year so it's a year already. I'm going to make a one year review on that one. So yeah this bag is really practical. The back pocket oh my god it's amazing. Uh, at the beginning I was like yeah I don't need the back pocket because I always I, you know keep my back open and I have really access to my phone but yeah the back pocket it's really practical. It's really good for the fun and it's more secure because you can have the bag with the zipper closed. And I really love to wear this handbag when I'm going to be walking all day. And I want to bring with me like more stuff. For example, I like to wear this one when I go to uh, parks or when I go to outlets that I'm going to be walking like you know a long period of time and i used this one already two times for disney and when i go to parts i like to bring with me my battery to charge my phone so that's why i like this bag because it's big and it fits a lot and it's really comfortable to wear to wear because it's really lightweight and for some reason this one is white but i don't baby this bag like at all <laughs> the other day i was going to the gym and then uh you know i was wearing black leggings i like to wear the fabletics leggings with pockets so after the gym i went to target because my target is close to the gym so i was wearing this handbag and i when i came home i was like oh my god i'm wearing black leggings so i look really quick to the back of the bag and it didn't have any color transfer thank god but i didn't thought about it that like at the beginning i was just you know like enjoying my life and yeah i like like i said this is a bag that i don't baby that much but for some reason the wear and tear in this handbag is more noticeable than in the beige for some reason here the leather is like bubbling i don't know if you're going to be able to see there but I don't mind because like I said, this is a bag that I enjoy a lot to wear and for me it's really practical. Okay, another worst grab and go bag in my collection is this one right here. So this is the uh, one of the newest handbag in my collection. Well, actually I think I have this bag for a month, something like that, maybe less than a month. So this is called the Fendi Baguette Mini Trunk. And this one is not an authentic bag. This one was sent to me by Save Bullet. I'm going to leave the information down below. I always tell you that this part of the video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. I actually didn't ask for this bag. I never saw this bag in my life before. I am not a Fendi fan person. I have my wallet on Shane, like my Fendi wallet on Shane, and I love it, but I don't know. Maybe at some point I will get a baguette, like, you know, the classic medium baguette. I really love it. Um, maybe next year or at the end of this year because I... Um, you know a Sex in the City fan so yes of course I want a classic Fendi baguette but I think that's the only bag that I really like in Fendi so yeah they sent me this one they say this is a really popular bag we are going to send you this one and I was like okay so I tried like I said I never 
uh, seen this bag before so I did some research I didn't even know the name of the bag so I uh, saw one online and it's available in Fendi but the one is available in Fendi the color you know on the leather is kind of like more tan than this one the hardware on this one is silver and it's a really really nice hardware I mean this bag is really well made honestly like if someone showed me this bag like it's really heavy if someone showed me this bag I will never think that this is you know a not authentic bag the inside is really nice it says Fendi Roma there and this uh, material and the inside is really soft and it has like kind of like the F I don't know if you're going to be able to see but it's like the inside is really really nice too but this is the worst the worst worst <laughs> grab and go bag because it's really you know hard to wear for me at least uh first it doesn't fit that much as you can see like it doesn't open all the way and yes if it's my phone the iphone 14 pro max fits the phone really really nice but i think uh that's pretty much it it won't fit like a lipstick yeah like as you can tell it won't fit like a lipstick with the phone there maybe a lip gloss let's see no it won't fit a lip gloss so even though it fits the phone like uh like i wore this bag two times already okay so i put my louis vuitton key clay a lipstick and i think that was pretty much it and maybe a mirror like my mini uh, charlotte tilbury mi mirror that's the only thing that it will fit here so this is a bag for you know when you want to go out on date nights and things like that but kind of like an edgy bag it comes with this beautiful strap and like i said the silver uh in this bag is really nice and i really like the color too because it can be a nice uh you know bag for fall but uh it's not that elegant okay so with the strap um uh, at least so maybe just as a cloche uh, i can use it more elegant so yeah when i wore this one i really thought about the outfit i was going to wear i wore this one for a day night with my husband uh in savannah so i remember i just put like a summer day dress flats and this bag uh, like crossbody <laughs> actually i got compliments on this bag the day i wore it and the other day it was you know to go and grab brunch but like i said it doesn't fit that much so you have to sacrifice a lot when you want to wear this bag i think this is kind of like a an statement bag something like that like you know like the famous Louis Vuitton Petit Mall that is kind of like this style I think that one will fit more than this one I don't know I'm not fan actually of that Petit Mall <laughs> don't, don't come from me but I I like it but it's not a bag that I will buy for me but yeah this is another you know worse grab and go it doesn't mean that I don't like the bag because I do like it but it's a bag that I have to think a lot of the outfit i'm going to wear with this one so yes i wanted to show you this one another best grab and go bag for me and it's one of my favorite handbags in my collection is this baby right here and this is the pochette matisse is west in the classic monogram i honestly love it that much that i ended up selling my pochette matisse the big one the original because I have this one and I really, really love my pochette motif, but uh, since I'm not going to the office anymore, I'm going to work from home, um, you know, like all the time. So I was like, I'm not going to use the pochette motif, the big one that much. So I'm going to sell it because I was reaching for this one more. Like since I got this one, I never reached for the big one, like no one. So I was like, yes, it's time to sell it. And when I did my video about my favorite uh, classic monogram bags in Louis Vuitton, I was like, yes, I have you know, too many monogram bags. So yeah, I have to get rid of one. So yes, I love this one. It's really practical for me. I really love the strap that I can wear the strap crossbody. And I also you know can wear this handbag uh, more short shoulder and this is one of my favorite crossbody bags that i have in my collection and it's a small but it fits my essentials really really nice i bought this handbag for my birthday in june well my birthday is in june but i bought this handbag on may and i think i told you the story that uh the chain i mean the strap broke uh, kind of like the second time I was wearing this handbag yeah the uh, one of these 
grommets like fell out but they gave me a new one and the other one was made in USA, the one that it broke. Uh, and this one, uh, the, the other one they gave me is made in France. So I was happy about that. But yeah, this one, I love it. It's really practical, easy for me to use, easy for me to style. It's another practical and best grab and go bags for me. The last worst grab and go bag, it really pains me because I really love this bag. It's really elegant, it's really classic. But I don't wear this bag that much uh, and it's my YSL Kate in the size medium in the color black. I don't know if it's because the color, I don't know if it's because the hardware, but uh, yeah, I don't wear this handbag that much. Um, you know, I want to wear this handbag like this summer. I mean, this fall, I was like, I'm going to use this bag more because, you know, it's black. So like I said, I really like, of course, black handbags, but I have my Chanel vintage with the, you know, gold hardware. So sometimes when I want to get you know, wear a black hammer with gold hardware. I, you know, use the Chanel, the vintage one. And this one, I thought about selling this one sometimes, but you know, my husband really liked this one. Uh, he's like, no, don't sell that one. So, and it's a really nice bag. Like it fits my essentials really nice. Uh, it's a really, you know, um, structure bag fits my essentials really nice like I can put here you know all my essentials my phone my sunglasses everything but uh you know it's a bag that is really elegant to wear you know like for every day like even though it doesn't matter I mean you can wear whatever you want and sometimes it's really big to wear for special occasion. I don't know if that makes sense. Sometimes you just want to wear like a small one. And I have my Felici with, you know, black and gold hardware that I wear that one sometimes when I need, I have the need to wear a, a black, you know, a small handbag. So yeah, this one, um, you know, I have, it's not like I have to think, you know, to wear this one because this one, of course, would go with a lot of outfits, but when I, want to wear this one is like okay i haven't used my kate so i need to use it so i'm going to wear you know that outfit that day so yeah i don't even remember when was the last time i used this one honestly like it was a while ago i don't remember i'm going to see if i have a photo about the last time i wore this one and i'm i'm going to put it right here so i don't know if it's the time to sell it I don't know yet because I bought this one uh, for kind of like a special memory for me. The bag that I also, when I got it, I use it a lot and I also used to own this one in the beige color. That's how much I love it at the beginning. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. And I don't know why I don't use it that much, but I promised myself that I'm going to wear this one more in the fall. So yeah, this is the video for today. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content and see you on my next video. Bye.